welcome to the May edition of The Daisy Chain. And term two is always about academic growth here at Turak. And of course, the best thing about academic growth is that it opens new doorways to new opportunities and future pathways. Now, Amika, you've been spending a bit of time talking about your future pathways lately because you're in year 10. <laughs> so you've just completed the Morrisby Report. Tell me, what does the Morrisby Report show? Well, basically it was telling us what careers would be suited to and also helps us pick our VC subjects. Mm, fantastic. So you get a bit of guidance along yeah. the journey. What did you learn about yourself through the Morrisby Report? Well, I learned definitely that I really want to make contributions to society through my work and that was my biggest thing. Were you surprised to hear that come up? Not really. Like I knew that I do want to help people, but it was like nice to see it. Like, yeah. yeah. And, and I would say, as someone who has taught you before, one of your biggest strengths is the way you bring others along yeah. on the journey and encourage that conversation. So I really love to hear that that's in the report. Um, where might that contributing to others pathway take you? What kind of field do you think that will head down? Well, I really want to do something probably in neurosurgery. Mm -hmm. That would be really great because I want to be able to help people but also be able to do research on things I'm interested in. Yeah, fantastic. You know, that's a big passion of yeah. mine, neurosurgery <laughs> and what we might be able to enable yeah. brains to do. Um, I think that's a super pathway and one with heaps of opportunity. Yeah. Emily, you've just recently completed the Morrisby report as well. What did the report say about you and your future? Um, mine was quite similar in terms of it showed that I wanted to help people, but it kind of specified towards more helping children, such as like, you know, child therapists or like paediatric surgeon. Great. Do you, have you always thought that you were someone who enjoyed working with children? Yeah, so it was really cool to see how the results I got kind of reflected off my personality. Yeah, I love that because I think sometimes we don't think about that, you know, that thing we're passionate about actually interjecting with your future, but actually they're both really entwined. One of the cool things out of the Morrisby Report is that we get to give you an opportunity to explore different pathways. And you've recently been on an exploration day at Downer. What were some of the things you got to do there? Um, well, we basically went on an excursion to different places such as Repurpose It and as well as like the Downer site and we got to see how engineering kind of reflected into like your real life careers. Yeah, fantastic. You got to be involved in one of those days earlier this yeah. year too, yes. Um, I, I've heard that on the Downer Experience Day it's like full high vis, yeah. trucks everywhere. What was the atmosphere like? It was so good and people were so passionate about what they do. Mm -hmm. It was really great to see that. Yeah. And I think when you're in a school, it's like we only talk about things for you to actually go and experience yeah. it. Um, what surprised you about what a career in engineering might look like? Well, I thought it was going to be very different. So I thought engineering very mechanical, but then I, what, when we went to the labs, I saw all the chemical engineering and it was just so amazing to see how like, much of a role chemistry plays in like everyday things, because they were building roads and it was just all chemistry. It was so cool. It's yeah. so cool. And, and I know Dana have a massive focus on sustainability as well. What did you learn about, I guess, the work they're doing to help world society in so many different ways. Well, they were talking about all the inventions they had that turned like our everyday waste into things that we will end up using for a really long time, such as roads. So turning plastic bags into roads that are used now today. It's so funny how so many priorities seem to come into this one area, things we didn't know about, uh, um, aspects of things we teach at school actually be useful for later in life. Like I love hearing those things. Um, Emily, I've just taught my last year nine class for the semester because exams are upon us. They're all stressing about subject choices at the moment for next year. Um, what advice do you have for those students starting their VCE and year 10 pathway? How do you pick the right subjects? I think probably just not to stress and know that you still have an opportunity to change your subjects and to still discover what you're interested in, what you want to do. Yeah, I think that's really great. Mika, any advice for you on changing or starting your journey of your subjects? What, what advice would you have for our younger students? Always pick a fun subject, <laughs> just because it's your last year before you start like real VCE. So you want something just to have a break, especially if you're doing a VCE subject. Yeah, perfect. I love your advice for those younger students and recently we hosted the Loop series where we started to look at our students in years five to nine starting to define their pathways forward. One of the things that was posed to those students was um, don't think about what you're going to grow up to be but think about what are the problems in the world that you want to solve. What do you think is on the top of your list? What would you love to solve in this world? Well, I would really like to work with like prosthetic neurons and creating them, just being able to like 
yeah, it's just something that hasn't been done yet and people are working on it and I'd really be, like to be a part of that. I think you will be a part of that. I'll be very proud to say you've been a part of that. Um, what about you, Emily? What are the things in this world that you'd be passionate about researching or trying to solve? Well, I basically just want to be able to, you know, look at younger people and to try and make their life just a little bit easier, especially during times, you know, in school where you might be finding it a bit hard, just to be able to help them cope and make it a little easier for them. Yeah, it's great. And actually that reminds me of something else that um, Hugh Williams sent on the night. He said, you should always think about that next smaller step. It doesn't matter what that step is, but that next little thing. So if you can do something to help their experience too, I think that would be amazing and very noble work as well. Well, we can see that the future of the world is certainly in very good hands with these two young women who are with me today. And our attention for the rest of this term turns into that grand culmination of that academic growth term with exams, incursions, excursions, and even our semester two early start program for senior school as well. We hope you enjoy all that there is on offer in term two.